My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Sky in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Today we are going on an excursion. We're going to visit a ghost town in South Italy. It's about a two and a half hour drive from here and it's a whole town that has completely deserted for over 50 years. There is one inhabitant of the town, Giuseppe, who is the official caretaker of the town. So I'm gonna take him some things. I've got a jar of marmalade that I made, a bottle of red wine, six fresh eggs, and a few of the last oranges from the tree, which is sweet. And I'm gonna throw in there a small jar of canned tomatoes for him as well. One of the most frustrating things in my life is trying to get people out of the house on time. I think all mirrors should be covered or taken away when it is time to leave the house. All options of changing clothing should also be hidden. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Hmm? Come on! Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm all leave. arrived we're very close to Roscigno but it is nearly one o'clock so people need to be fed and we found this Agri Turismo it looks absolutely lovely behind us and they do food they also have places to stay so we phoned them they're open and we're gonna go and see what there is to eat Clever Nicola for finding this place. What a beautiful place. There doesn't seem to be anybody here. <laughs> Obviously there's nobody else here because it's in the middle of the week. Got a nice table next to the fire. Di dove sei? E io sono di Londra. Di Londra. Sì. I'm from Luton. You're from Luton? Yeah. I've been 20 years there and 20 years here. And I've been 22 years here and 24 years here. I'm older than you. The contrary. So, <laughs> we have the same life. Wonderful. Do you like so, it here? Yes. Do we have English food here? Yeah, English food too. We Ooh. do fish and chips too. Wow, look, 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 look. This wow. is my English, my British menu. <laughs> Wonderful. My God. Hi, this is your favourite. Si, <laughs> el mio favorito cuando son en Inglaterra, pero, si, si, eh. Because si. <laughs> I've got two fish and chips in Luton. <laughs> so, wow. How did you end up here? My parents are from this village. Oh, okay. So they decided to come back. Okay. And we all came back. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Questo posto è davvero stupendo, eh? Bellissimo. So, seeing as we are in a different area of Italy, they have slightly different things on the menu. So, we asked to get some local dishes, some stuff that we haven't really heard of before and haven't really eaten before. So, we're not sure what we're getting, 
um, we're just going to get a few different, different types of pastas. They make all their own pasta, they make their own cheeses, they make all their own starters, the vegetables are theirs. It's a very sort of self sufficient restaurant here, so it could be quite an interesting meal. And now that our order has been taken, we have been given permission to go and explore the gardens. Let's go. <laughs> So he said that they've got 18 rooms and in the summer they get very, very busy. There's a whole kids play park here behind me. I'm not really sure where I'm going, but I'm just going exploring. And it gets very, very busy here at the weekends and when there's no COVID, <laughs> that's what he said. Oh, here's one of the pools. So obviously it's winter at the moment. The pools have just been left, so they're a bit dirty, but they are saltwater pools. So there's no chlorine, it's all natural. And they've even got their own football pitch up here, which Nicole is very interested in. Because I miss football, playing football so much. I'm very desperate for this thing. I'm so desperate. I'm looking and I'm thinking, wow, I'm thinking I don't see a campetto. Scena, la scena di... <laughs> sì, di Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Scusa. 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 And I'm just exploring and I can see that there's a, oh, it's so warm in here. There's this sun lounge, which I saw from outside. It's got glass doors all the way around it and it's really warm in here. And all the peppers hanging up there at the ceiling. How lovely. Carlo, che pensi del, what do you think of our starter? That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Maybe amazing is better than incredible. And allora, subito dovete mangiare il cavallo. This is the Questo qua l'ho fatto perché ho messo le cose e qualcosina in più. Wow. Buon appetito. No, si la This is my melted cheese. Wow. Wow. Incredible. Perché non avrei capito da dove iniziare. Wow. E questo qua è il parmigiano. Wow. Ma è troppo buono. Four huge plates of pasta. Wow, è eccezionale questo. Eh, ma infatti io non lo provavo. Cioè. All handmade. Wow. 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 <laughs> and we did not even ask for this. Yep, colour's right. We, we've actually put everything in doggy bags. There is no way I can eat this. I'm going to have to put the canolo in a dog poo bag, I think, and hide it. I can eat the ice cream, but I cannot eat that as well. So we are full to bursting point. <laughs> and we have all this to take home for later. This top one is our cannoli siciliani, which we just cannot eat on top of the ice cream and the four types of pasta and those massive plates of starters. Hey! Back in the hay, family. I love it when you've been a little bit chilly and then you get in the car and the car is all warm and <laughs> heated and oh, it's so cosy in here at the moment. It's lovely. It's going to be hard to get back out again. Il tempo, il tempo è cambiato alla grande proprio. Sì, eh? sì. Abandoned town of Rochino. 
It's called Rosinho Vecchio. And this is the beautiful town square. As we came in, we spied Giuseppe, the caretaker. He's just sitting over there. Saluto Romano. Saluto Romano, non, non Italy, eh? eh. No Italy. Tutto roba semplice, ok? Roba nostra gallina. Roscigno Vecchio was abandoned many, many years ago and it took a long time to empty out the town. It was abandoned due to risk of landslide. The whole area was slowly moving and shifting and they realised it would be safer to move all the inhabitants from this town and they built a new Roscigno just a few kilometres away and all the inhabitants moved there. And ever since then, this town has just been left empty and ghost-like. But you can come here and wander around and explore all the little streets and alleyways. I'm gonna do that now. Giuseppe, da quanti anni vivi qua? Dal 97. Dal 97, ecco. E dimmi, com'è vivere a Roscigno Vecchia? E vivere in un paese abbandonato, se non sei preparato, assolutamente non si, può, non si può vivere. Perché a me, sostanzialmente, è caduta le coperture, ti hanno tolto la corrente, ti hanno ti hanno buttato le case, le, i sassi sopra, sopra la copertura, qua ti fanno di tutto. Non so perché ci deve essere questa cattiveria in questo assurdo Italia. Allora, io sono unico libro abusivo e speciale in questo contesto dal 97. Qui arrivano da tutte le parti e io le accolgo nei migliori dei modi. Perciò, dal 97 ad oggi ho fatto una grande segna. E io ho 74 primavera, non è che ho 50 anni. E allora mi devo, mi devo saper mantenere, eh, devo sapere quelle guai. Il comune si è messo a disposizione perché è caduta la casa l'anno scorso a gennaio. Poi quest'anno con tutta l'acqua che ha fatto senti sempre che cadono le case. Cade un muro, cade una copertura, cade insomma eh, eh, ti viene il dolore al cuore quando tu vedi che questo paese si poteva mantenere senza che arrivasse a questo grave punto e si doveva fa fare diciamo di questo posto conservazione e messa in sicurezza mantenerlo il più possibile diciamo come era una volta e non farlo deperire e poi lo vuoi risuscitare, è molto difficile. Beautiful. Hello, lovely. He's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. 